Hello, my name is Victoria and I'm a librarian at Sunrise Dan Pearl Library. Today, we're going to be reading Buffy the Burrowing Owl by Betty Gilbert in partnership with Project Perch in the City of Sunrise. Let's get started. Hello, my name is Buffy. I am a burrowing owl. I live on the southwest coast of Florida in a town called Cape Coral. I want to tell you a story of my life. This is the story of where we live, what we eat, how we play, and how we sleep. Burrowing owls traditionally would have lived in dry prairies and grassland habitats in Florida. Because these areas have largely been taken by human development for subdivisions, towns, etc., the birds often make their homes in the spaces between these developed areas such as weedy lots, cattle pastures, dikes along water conservation areas, ball fields, etc. We are different from our cousins that live in the trees or in barns. Instead, we nest in the ground. Our home is called a burrow. It is an eight foot long tunnel in the ground. Please, don't mow down all the grass and weeds around our burrow. We need a few of them to give us shelter from the heat and a place in the shade to play. Too many tall weeds, though, block our view of approaching predators. That's why we like to dig our burrows in open, sandy fields. Our human friends who protect us have placed stakes and a rope around the burrow. These are meant as a sign for others to keep out. We often sit on a post or other perch and sometimes screech and hiss if strangers come too close. When we bob our heads up and down and hiss, it means we feel threatened, so please back away. Every day, Mommy kicks up a lot of dust as she sweeps her way to the burrow with mulch to make us a clean nest. Keeping the nest area clean is very important because we can get tangled in the debris that was brought in to disguise the nest. We are born with downy white feathers and our eyes closed. When we are babies, we appear to have long, skinny legs and are quite clumsy and awkward. As we grow, we become fluffier and our pin feathers start to grow. Some think I am as ugly as a bird can be. What do you think? We huddle closely in the early morning sunshine and wait for mommy to feed us breakfast. We eat caterpillars, turtles, and snakes. Mommy also feeds us beetles and bugs. Best of all, we like frog legs. Daddy catches the frogs and brings them to mommy. She pulls them apart with her beak and feeds us the meat. Mommy preens our feathers after we have been fed to remove any fleas or mites which could make us sick. After we are preened, we like to play before taking a nap. Sometimes we play so hard that we fall asleep in the warmth of the morning sun. Before taking a nap, we sometimes play with the toys Mommy brings us. We sleep lying on the ground. Sometimes we sleep standing on our feet. When I wake up, sometimes I have a stiff neck, so I turn my head all around. My sister is always the last to wake up. I have to pull her feathers to make her stand. Do you usually rise immediately after your mother calls? Most of the time I have to beg her. Oh please, won't you get up? I whisper in her ear, I love you, come fly with me. We climb up on the weeds around the burrow and flap our wings to make them strong so we can fly. We climb higher and higher, practicing for the day we fly up to be with mommy. Mommy and daddy never stray too far. They are always watching over us. We love spring showers. We spin around to catch the raindrops as they fall. Splish, splash, we take a bath. Showers like this help clean our feathers and get rid of dirt and lice. After we are grown and able to feed ourselves, we still like mommy to feed us. Oh, mommy, please, just one more bite. I hope you have enjoyed sharing this brief encounter with me as Buffy. These bands were put on my legs so biologists could track me. The new name they gave me is C3. Now I can fly anywhere. So when you walk down a path, please watch for me. I may be just a hoot away. If you want to learn more about owls like Buffy and how to help, be sure to stop by the library. I hope you've enjoyed the story. Thank you for listening.